Typing in OneNote is like working in Word. I simply type text on a page. I'm selecting text and formatting it using the mini toolbar. Changing the font, the font size, and making it bold. I'm making this text a bulleted list. For even more features, I use the ribbon. The ribbon is this row of tabs near the top. By default, the ribbon is collapsed to provide more room to work with notes. I click a tab to open it and use its commands. Clicking in a page closes the tab. I double-click a tab so that the ribbon is always expanded. The Home tab is where I'll find the most common commands for working with text. Here I'll make a note for myself and tag it as a to-do. I'll talk about tags in more detail in the next video. You can add links to a page just by typing them. You can also just copy and paste. I can copy and paste part of a web page or a document. I'm copying from a web page right-clicking the notebook page, and choosing a paste option from the right-click menu. Notice that the link for where I pasted from is automatically added just below the text. I add a picture the same way. I just copied a picture and some text from a website. I right-click where I want to paste it, and click a paste option. I can also capture a region of my computer screen as an image and paste it onto a page. Behind OneNote, I have a web page that has a periodic table on it. I click the Insert tab, and then click Screen Clipping. I could also use the Windows keyboard shortcut, Windows Logo Key S. OneNote automatically minimizes itself, and I select the area of the screen I want to copy. And the area I clipped is automatically pasted onto the page. OneNote is like a paper notebook, but so much more. Just like a paper notebook, there's no Save button. When I make a change, OneNote automatically saves it. But unlike paper notebooks, with OneNote, I can search notebooks. I'll go over search in more detail in a subsequent video. Also unlike paper notebooks, I never have to worry about running out.